I'm going to say it just like this, right? A little sip of the Duncan. There is no such thing as unconditional love unless it's coming from your mother and father and your siblings. And some of us don't even get that. I do. I can't speak for nobody else. But there is no such thing as unconditional love. And if you think you're going to find that in an NFL, NBA, MLB, soccer, whatever sports stadium, when you've been stinking up the place, when you haven't been playing good, if you think you're going to find that there, you're sadly mistaken. Let me just address some things with this episode. The relationship between professional athletes and fans, sports teams and fans, sports organizations as fans is strictly is strictly what's love got to do with it for lack of better term. Players love fans who only watch them because when they watch them and they support them that brings in more money. Players fans only love players who are playing for their favorite team and they're helping their team win football games. Now, that's just what the deal is. And it's been like that from the beginning of sports. So, I'm not really surprised that some fans cheered and some fans booed Deshaun Watson yesterday, even though I think I still believe that it's classless because the man is a human being at the end of the day. And I think sometimes we take our sports teams to heart. And then in Cleveland, I'm just not surprised. I mean, we did it with Tim Couch. I think we did it with Kelly Holcomb too. But I'm not surprised. And, you know, it's one of those things where you just... It's, it's just unfortunate, man. Prayers up. My, my thoughts and my prayers are with Deshaun Watson. I mean, season-ending injury last season to the shoulder. Now this year, the Achilles, and he's out for the season with a torn Achilles. Now it's, you know, you just, you know, you just pray for him and you feel for him. But fans are going to judge you based on your performance. And in order to be honest, I mean, I have to be honest, Watson has not played well. He really has not played well since he's been in Cleveland, and fans are fed up. So, of course, you got those fans that are going to be jerks and, and do what they do. But there's no unconditional love when it comes to sports and the fans. It's like, it's like that Janet Jackson song, What Have You Done For Me Lately? The NFL is... Any professional organization is a what have you done for me lately business. If you're not doing anything, get him out of here. And unfortunately, that's just what it was yesterday. Let me know what you think in the comments, though, sports fans. My name's Rico McGee. This has been the Rulers Minute. And as always, we'll see you in a minute.